another poor soul afflicted. Have they not taught you to leave a corpse where it lies? And yet, here you are. You've traveled all this way to this tower. You must be searching, as I once did. But you have come to me as a way of answer or a way of mercy. For mercy for your insanity to come here or for me. Hmm. Still you stand here, yet you draw not your weapon. I can smell it on you. Is... Is that Gerem's teaching? Astounding. And here on the Great Hunt, do the Great Ones desire their humor in me? It seems even in this nightmare, there is no escape from them. So, I will indulge you, Hunter, puppet of the hunt, until your curiosity is satiated, and then death shall draw her payment from you. I am Maria, raised in Kynhurst. Many would call me a lady. Many did, in fact. Even when they first noted my affinity of the blade. Tell me, is Gerim still there? In the dream? You look surprised. Of course I know of him. I was his first student, after all. He honed me, trained me to be the ultimate hunter, and I held dearly to his words like a song. There was nothing that he could not have done wrong. Even if the women of the court looked down at a descendant of Annalise herself, callousing her hands with the hilt. <laughs> It never bothered me what they said, so long as he had time to train me. I was his to mold into whatever he so desired. I wonder, is he training you as well? No, you follow a separate path. Hmm. Do you follow the Institute? Or the Healing Church? Ah. The Healing Church rejected me. Because of... Hmm. I never truly wanted to take part of the blood. It was hmm, unnecessary. What other hunters he took on, get him. He allowed them to learn it, the way of the blood. It cheapened their battles to make them fight beyond their actual capabilities. I would not make the same mistake and fall prey to their feeble minds, becoming the very thing we hunt. You've seen it for yourself. 
haven't you? I wonder how near you are to that same fate. Have you seen yet? Has the same knowledge you sought brought you more insights? Mm -hmm. Then you should know as hunters what we must do. You know there is no bargaining, no negotiating. Fear the old blood. Fear the old blood, they say. I had no fear of it, nor tolerance once the blood had gone bad. I was certain I would not make the same mistakes as the others had. I rose and rose through training, through everything. And then, our first mission. Hmm. Do you see this weapon I hold? It's not one, but two. But this was not the weapon. I cast it away. All of that time ago. That blade that you seem to fish out. Do you know the weight of it? Hmm. Do you know, Hunter? Know how to manage that weapon you wear. The kind Hershikage. My weapon, the Chicago, I've had since Kynehurst. The one blade that does not feed off of blood. It demands dexterity. And that curse blade you brought back to me, Rokuyo. The sight of it brings me back. It seems even in the astral tower, it would come to haunt me. The blood. The screams. We did those villagers a mercy in that fishing hamlet. They were people no longer man, woman, child. They were infected by the Great One. Sickly. We had to do it. To protect Yarnum from the very same sickness. That very blade that you carry was the one that helped me do the deed. And yet, I can still recall the shaman. He was on his knees, never tried to stop us as we cleansed the village. But his words carried over the screams. Lay the curse of blood upon them, and their children, and their children's children, forevermore. I paid no heed before I freed him, but 
The great ones might not have been so quick to dismiss those sullied minds. I've been trapped in the nightmare. Longer than I care to remember why. I do not wish to enter the hunter's dream. That reprieve is not for my ilk. Perhaps it was because we dragged blade through skulls and searched and weaved our eyes for what laid beneath. I still do not know until this day if the Institute found what they were looking for in the villagers' skulls. I thought I was above it, far from it, not taking delight in the blood as the rest of my brethren in Kynehurst. <sighs> Much was delved into. The Institute said they learned, but it was never enough. Tell me, Hunter. How many times have you relived this very moment? How many times have you met me here? I can tell your answer just from how your eyes are. You see the truth. Slowly driving you mad. The day I let go of Rakuyo, I devoted myself to the Institute and its patience. <laughs> the patients, they begged to hear my voice. Begged for me to let them know that they were not alone in those bleak halls. And I gave it to them. To take cold, decrepit hands and minds. Help me, don't let me drown. Please, Lady Maria, please save me. I don't hear anything. Will I ever grow up to become a Ned? Lady Maria. Lady Maria. Lady Maria. <sighs> Until I could bear it no longer. <sighs> Did you happen by them? Did you see them? No. I should not expect you to answer. I left them. Their fate, I should never be honored to know. Whatever was done to them, is done. But alas, you did not come here to hear a corpse. I pray you have come only for the same thing that I came here for and was yet denied. A mercy. I wonder who shall truly be free tonight. Just know, long as I draw breath, I will not let you fall down that same path I did. For your sake, only an honest death will cure you of your curiosity. <laughs>